Did you know that 8% of your home energy bill might be going towards energy that you're not even using? This is a modern problem called phantom energy loss, but the Pinellas Energy Efficiency Project is here to show you how to cut waste and save money. You know, in most of our homes these days, you can get up in the middle of the night and walk through the living room and not even have to turn the lights on because you see all these little glowing lights in the darkness. It could be your television, DVD player, cable box, phone charger, microwave oven, all these little gadgets that are quietly sucking up electricity. Some people call them energy vampires. You know, some people can remember back in the day when television sets used to take a minute to warm up when you first turn them on. These days, people don't like to wait for anything, so most electronics are manufactured so that they go into a standby mode when they are turned off. This means that a little bit of electricity is running through them, keeping them warm, so when you press the on button, they come on right away. A lot of electronics have these little black boxes attached to them that you plug into the wall, a transformer. A friend tells a story about how he got up one cold morning, he was walking through the room and he saw a lizard sitting on one of these boxes, and the lizard was smiling. And you know why? because these are warm when you have them plugged in. Even if there's no device attached to them, these things can be using up electricity. Although these energy vampires each use only a tiny bit of electricity, if you multiply the cost by the number of devices we have these days, 365 days a year, it adds up. The University of Florida studies estimate that phantom energy accounts for up to 8% of the average Florida home electric bill. That means that you could be paying $44 per month just for phantom energy. One way to cut down on phantom energy is to plug all of your related devices into a single power strip. You could plug in your computer, your monitor, your printer, scanner, your speakers, all into one strip. That way, when you're done using them, you can turn them all off with just one switch. Surge protectors are also good for protecting your equipment against power surges. They come with different levels of protection and warranties. An even easier way to go is with the new smart strip. These are available now, and they allow you to turn off all of the related devices without having to reach under the desk or behind the cabinet. Smart strips are manufactured by a number of companies, but they usually look pretty similar to this one. Here's how to use one. This is called the control outlet. The device that gets plugged in here is called the control device, because the other devices will be on or off depending on whether or not the control device is on. So let's say you plug in your television set here, and then you could plug in your DVD player, your gaming device, your speaker system, into these other outlets. Now, when you turn your television set off, even using your remote control, the smart strip senses that the power has dropped to that device and automatically cuts off the power to the other devices. You obviously won't need them while the TV is off. And you can use the smart strip with your computer desk. Just plug the power cord from your computer into the control outlet. Then plug in your monitor, your scanner printer, your speakers into the switched outlets at the bottom. Now when your computer is turned off or goes into sleep mode, the smart strip senses that the power has dropped and automatically cuts off the power to the peripherals. When you turn the computer back on, then the peripherals will come back on. If you have devices which need to stay on all day, like a clock or a cable TV box, you can plug those into the constant outlets which always stay on. The amount that you save on your home energy bill will depend on your usage patterns, but a smart strip could quite possibly pay for itself in just a few months. These are available at your larger hardware stores and department stores. As I said, they come from different manufacturers and have different models. Some of them have more outlets, some of them have fax modem protection built in, and some of them even have a timer. When you do buy your smart strip, make sure you look for the label that shows certification that it has been safety tested by a recognized organization. Try to find the one that meets your needs.